priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And to everyone on this memorial of St. Charbel Makhluf, the great Lebanese saint, the hermit of Lebanon, a great priest and miracle worker during his own lifetime in the 1800s. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Father, Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Return, rebellious children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city, two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. I will appoint over you shepherds after my own heart, who will shepherd you wisely and prudently. When you multiply and become fruitful in the land, says the Lord, they will in those days no longer say, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. They will no longer think of it or remember it or miss it or make another. At that time, they will call Jerusalem the Lord's throne. There all nations will be gathered together to honor the name of the Lord at Jerusalem. And they will walk no longer in their hard-hearted wickedness. The word of the Lord. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as his shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgin shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows." The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Hallelujah. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy, but he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word and it bears no fruit. 
But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Okay, good morning again to everyone on this the Memorial of St. Charbel Maclou. We're going to ask for his intercession. He had a great devotion to Our Lady, a great devotion to the Eucharist, new penance, and we can imitate all of those virtues that he points out to us. Charbel Maclou, pray for us. Can I just zero in on this one line? God promises his people, I will appoint over you shepherds after my own heart. And when we think about his people, we think about our bishops and our priests. And these are shepherds who are called to have the same heart of Jesus, who is the good shepherd. Uh, And talk about the idea that um, shepherds, I am thinking about, uh, I, I spend time with the seminarians, I talk with the seminarians, and this is a, a constant theme, trying to cultivate um, in them uh, a, a shepherd's heart, which is, at the end of the day, a father's heart. Right. So, so God the Father says, I will appoint shepherds over you, shepherds after my own heart. Uh, the Father who, this is so very important, the Father who loves and cares for, protects, who feeds um, his children. A a good shepherd does. Um, He he guards and he protects and he feeds this this providential care over his flock, over his sheep. Now listen, um, this message about shepherds is for all of us. So every single Christian is called to be a good shepherd. And all of us in our unique ways, we are called to care for others. It could be at work. It could be in your family, it could be your spouse, it could be children or grandchildren. And you can think now in ways that, hmm, I have been appointed in God's plan to be a shepherd for so-and-so. And it's beautiful to acknowledge that and to appreciate that and to realize that you too are called to have a shepherd's heart. And you too are called to imitate the Father in caring for it. Listen, I'm going to leave you on this. One of the key characteristics of the Father's heart, God the Father now, one of the characteristics of of, um, that fatherly heart is that God the Father delights in his children. God the, the Father finds joy in the ones whom he cares for. And it's, it's important for us to keep in mind because we get caring for others and we think this is such a burden. Um, where, no, caring for the, it's a blessing. And we have to continue to find delight, to find joy. Realize, I love this person. I love these people that God has appointed me to care for. Um, God, he, he never tires of caring for us. He never tires of delighting in us. You can think of a proud shepherd, a good shepherd with a, with a the shepherdly heart uh, who delights in his abundant flock. Uh, and that's, that's us. Um, the Lord's given us people to care for. We love them and we delight in them. Let's stand now and offer our prayers, petition to our Heavenly Father. That the Lord may richly bless and be gracious to Pope Francis and all clergy as they continue to lead the faithful in truth and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That Christ may guide the hearts and minds of those in positions of authority as they support policies that protect the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord that those saddened by loss or burdened by sickness or poverty may find comfort in the shelter of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord that those in our community of faith 
here at Christ the King, that Catholics throughout our diocese may grow in their knowledge of the Word and strengthen in their devotion to the sacraments. Let us pray to the Lord that those who have died may rejoice in eternal life. Our loving Father, we pray in a special way for Joseph de Sabado, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord for all of the intentions that we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Mm. Heavenly Father, we place these petitions before you in faith and the knowledge that you know all that we need. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Just what I'm going to do. Blessed are you, the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Charbel Makhluf, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as in the festival of St. Charbel Makhluf, you bid the church rejoice, so do you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. With the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, and all you have created, our gives you praise for through your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. All things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night of the trade, he himself and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all the In a similar way, when supper was said, he took the chalice and gave it to the
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, and that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may have an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Charles, and with all the saints. In constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our Your pilgrim church on earth with our Pope and our Archbishop, the Order of Bishops, all the people you have gained for your own. To the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you with your compassion, O merciful God, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Spirit, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and from divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. God, you take away the household to give them their allowance of food. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself 
wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us May the heavenly table Almighty God confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Blessed Charba Mahmoud, that we may preserve and integrity the deep of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go in peace.